students, welcome back to class. Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk. Don't steal milk from a cow. Be vegan, start right now. Follow that vegan teacher, she will show you how. Plants have protein, they really, really do. Being vegan is healthy, you know it's true. Plants have protein, they really, really do. So why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? No more excuses for you. Today we are going to be looking at Ryan Comedy's presentation. Now, for those of you who don't know, Ryan was a student in this class, but he didn't do that great on the last assignments. So, you know, we're glad that he's back here trying. It is always good when you fail to try, try again. And the goal of today's class is the same as before. It is. The goal is to make fun of that vegan teacher without being mean. And you should mention animals and vegan foods. So. Uh, also, if you want to today, you are definitely welcome to add any of these criteria here. You can talk about how terrible the meat industry is, the dairy industry, how you should not be eating eggs, not be wearing wool, silk, and you should also not be eating honey because we don't steal from bees. And you know what they do to the queens? They cut off their wings. I mean, can you imagine having wings and having somebody cut them off? It's kind of like the worst thing that you could possibly do. I mean, imagine cutting an angel's wings off of her. That's what people do. And then they steal the honey. The honey that the bees work their entire life for. Ridiculous. Anyway, we also can talk about the eco footprint of animal agriculture, how terrible that is. We can talk about how great being vegan is for human health, and we can talk about speciesism and how it's the first form of racism. You can also talk about vegan phobia if you want to, which is being cruel to vegan animal rights activists. All right. So super proud of you guys who are all here today who already did their presentations and especially to everybody who's wearing their nice tie. All Ryans should be vegan. So great job everybody. You all look so beautiful. Let's get on with the show. Okay Ryan, let's go. Good morning my little hummus hum hums. Usually I start my day off with a big glass of recycled water I drink from having my mouth open under people's tables at restaurants. I like to collect the droplets. Next I'll read the Holy Vegan Bible for five hours straight. My favorite parable is the one where that tree turns into a hippo and yells at Ronald McDonald and throws him in that ocean of lava where he burns to the ground. <laughs> it's a wholesome read. Next it's breakfast time. Sometimes I'll just grab a Ziploc bag and breathe three breaths of air. I'm full but usually I just cook a pancake, which is what I call cashew milk on a plate. Next is time to protest. I'll do a Facebook live stream so all my meat-eating friends can see me speak my truth. Oh my gosh, look, my aunt's here. She's a goat. Don't eat the animals. I am vegan because the chicken squawks like a soprano. Hold on, I think my... My cue cards got mixed up. Lastly, I'll practice my llama exercises. I believe I'm going to be a tall mammal in my next life. Llama, llama, llama. I'm not quite sure what noises they make. Good morning, my little oh hummus, hum hummus. Hummus. Okay, so that was that. That went very fast, and it was just too much to process. So we're gonna look at. We're gonna deconstruct that. Yeah, I'm gonna see what's going on, Ryan. There's a couple of parts that seem like. You know, they were slightly amusing, but let's look at it in slow motion. Everybody else, don't forget to get out your criteria. We're going to put an X if we see something wrong, and we're going to put a check mark if we see something right. All right, so first thing we start off with is, you know, good job, Ryan. You're in bed, and I don't see any wool blankets or anything like that. I, you're not wearing any kind of fur, so check mark. Good job, Ryan. Okay. What else? Hey, my little hummus, hum hums. You, oh, you mentioned hummus. That's good. Check mark. Good job, Ryan. Of course, those of you who don't know, hummus is just ground up chickpeas with a little bit of tahini, which is ground up sesame seeds, and a little bit of oil and spices. It's so, so good. I mean, I couldn't believe that some of my own students didn't know what hummus was. Then again, the truth is, I didn't eat hummus for many, many years. We never had it in our house as kids. Do you guys have hummus? Make sure you write down below if you've ever tried hummus and which one is your favorite flavor. Let's keep watching. Usually I start my day off with a big glass of recycled water. I Recycling is good. Check mark. Water is excellent. Woohoo! Good job, Ryan. This is great. That's well, great so far. Drink from having my mouth open under people's tables at restaurants. Opening your mouth to drink? Yeah, that's good. 
Because it means you're not using an intravenous, which means you're healthy. Good job. Check mark. Now, what was this part here about under a restaurant table? That seems very weird. Let's look at that again. Good morning, my little hummus hum oh. hums. Usually I start my day off with a big glass of recycled water. I drink. Oh, did you also play the ukulele? Well, you know how we feel about musical instruments and singing about God's word about the animals. So that's pretty good. Uh-oh, we got some spinning good going on Good morning, here. my little hummus hum hum. He sleeps with his ukulele. How cute is that? Check mark. Um, so usually I start my day off with a big glass. Are there any feathers in those pillows? Mm, I don't think so. They don't kind of look bumpy, so I'll give that a check mark. Remember, everybody, we don't buy pillows with feathers in them. Go and check the label. Check the label all the time. Check the label. Check the label. Check the label. If it's vegan, it's okay. of recycled water I drank from having my mouth. Wait, what did that say on there? Oh my God, Good morning, it's hard to go hummus, hum, hum. You know, you go back 10 seconds here and it's just like it goes back to the whole Usually beginning. I start my day. I'm gonna try and stop it. Off right at the part where we're looking at the water. A big glass sort of, of Label on there. Recycled water. Reclaimed water, plant effluent, raw sewage. Mm, no, we're not going to be drinking raw sewage. X, no, it's not good. No, we're not going to do that. And uh, plant effluent, you know, unless it says vegan on it, or unless we know it's pure, you know, I would be very careful with that, all right, Ryan? So maybe just take that out next time. Instead, just cross it off and just write vegan water, you know, with nothing weird in there. No, 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 just, you know, no runoffs from some factory farm or whatever, okay? I drink from... I drink from... I'm having my... You know, mouth open. Under having your mouth open is good to drink, but don't drink lying down, Ryan. That's dangerous. You could choke. You know, you could swallow some water down your trachea instead of your esophagus. That could be dangerous. Now put an X there. Don't be teaching kids to drink lying down, Ryan. To people's tables at res restaurants. Okay, you're drinking. I like. Is, is that look like you were eating there? Now what were you eating? Was that a cracker? Is that a vegan? You know, you have to check. Don't forget to check the label. I'm not sure if it's a vegan cracker or not, so I'm not going to give you a plus or a minus for that. Okay? I like to collect the droplets. Not collecting the drop milk. You know, it's good to collect water from outside, by the way. That's a good thing. You know, rainwater, because the more that we are good to the environment and we recycle and reuse, the better it is for the animals. And the planet belongs to them as well as us. We share, right? Next, I'll read the Holy Vegan Bible. You're going to read the Holy Vegan Bible. Oh, okay. for five hours. For how long? Straight. My favorite parable is for five hours straight. Okay, so Ryan, I'm going to give you a check mark because you're trying to be funny, and you wrote the word vegan. And in fact, <coughs> I don't know if you realize this, but if you write the word vegan and you write it in a proper way, like Holy Vegan, that means a good vegan, and everyone knows that the Bible is attempting at least to try to be a good book. It's questionable sometimes but anyway I'm going to give you actually 10 check marks because you wrote the word vegan in your presentation so good job one two three four five six seven eight nine ten check marks for you Ryan good job it's the one where that tree turns <gasps> trees trees are beautiful and trees give us oxygen and trees are homes for animals good job Ryan check mark to a hippo. Hippos! Hippos are animals and you're showing animals in your presentation. That's wonderful. Check mark! And yells at Ronald McDonald and throws. Anybody who yells at Ronald McDonald, that's amazing. Check mark! Throws him in that ocean of lava where he. Ocean of lava. Hmm, what happened? Where he. Oh, he burns it. Yeah, check mark to that. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, that's sort of like karma. That's that's God's wrath right there. Yeah. It burns to the ground. <laughs> it's a wholesome. It's a wholesome read. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of see where you're going here, Ryan. You're trying to sort of make fun of the Bible because let's face it, there's a lot of violence that goes on there and there's a lot of contradictions too. 
You know, I mean, some people read the Bible and they're against gay people because they sort of point to the Bible and say that that's, that's something that God wouldn't like, which we know is ridiculous. I mean, as long as you're being kind and loving, that's what's important. The commandments of thou shalt not kill and do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Those are the good commandments in the Bible. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to give you a check mark there for sort of making a joke. I mean, it's not a laugh out loud joke, but yeah, you know, the Bible... Not exactly a wholesome read. But if there was such a thing as a vegan Bible, it would definitely be a wholesome read. Now remember, veganism is not a religion though. Veganism is based on science and reasoning. It is a combination of us using our hearts and our heads together to avoid cognitive dissonance because we care deeply about sentient beings. We don't want them to die, right? Remember that? Remember that when you are mean to animals, that is the, what you're taught as a young kid, and it, that's how you start to become racist, you know? Speciesism is the first form of racism. Right, Ryan? Do you remember that? I hope you mentioned this in your... Pro Actually, we read it. We saw it so fast, but I didn't happen to see the word speciesism. But you should talk about that, all right? Some read. Next, it's breakfast time. Sometimes... Breakfast time. Breakfast? Okay, sometimes I'll just... Sometimes I'll just grab a Ziploc bag. Grab a zip. Oh, Ziploc bags aren't that great, you know, because they are usually used as a one-time use thing. So what you should be doing when you use a Ziploc bag is bring it home, right? Turn it inside out and wash it and just hanging up, hang it up with a little clothespin. Just hang it up and then it'll dry and then you can reuse it a hundred times, okay? Be very careful when you're opening it because you don't want to just like rip it. But if you're careful with your Ziploc bags, it will be fine, right? Always thinking about the environment and breathe three breaths of air. Breathing air is good. Breathing air is vegan. I don't know about breathing through a bag though. I mean, unless you're hyperventilating, you know? So I'm not sure about the Ziploc bag thing. So I think I'm gonna give you an X, Ryan. I hope you're okay with that. You know, because I can't give you a check mark for showing a one-time use product, you know? I'll give you an X, but I'll give you a little X because, you know, I don't really know if you're, I don't think you mean any harm by it, but it's just, it's kind of not funny, you know? I'm full, but usually I'm full. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I just laughed, so I guess it must be funny. <laughs> I guess you're trying to say that vegans don't eat that much. They don't eat that many calories and they're full. But, you know, the truth is people say, oh, I tried to be vegan and I was always hungry. But it's because they're not eating properly. You have to eat lots of lentils. Lentils are full of wonderful protein. And you can also eat something like Beyond Burgers, which have 20 uh, grams of, of protein in them per patty. You can also eat bean burgers, and you can make all kinds of delicious foods. Now, Ryan, I noticed that, what is your, I just noticed your face. What is that face? That's a bit scary, but let me see. Oh, there's no spinach in your teeth. Did you eat enough spinach? Is there any kale? No, Ryan, are you eating enough spinach and kale? Are you putting it in your smoothie? Remember, when you're making your smoothie in the morning, you gotta take your smoothie, your, your jar there, and you gotta pack in the spinach all the way down, or your kale, all the way down. Remember, don't eat the stems of the kale, because they taste bitter. But if you put the leaves in there, and then you put some water in there, and you put a banana, and you put some strawberries, or you can use some pineapple, that's fine too, then you'll have a beautiful, not only just beautiful to look at, but delicious tasting smoothie. And if you find it's not sweet enough, put in a date. But remember to take the pit out of the dates. Okay, so dates are so sweet, but you can use that instead of sugar. Yeah, because it's a whole food. Remember then you're looking at whole food smoothie. And you know, I mean, I, I, you know, I'm just going to assume that you just brushed your teeth after each meal. And that's why your teeth are so nice and white. Okay, so I'm going to give you a check mark. But I just really want to make sure that you're not forgetting to eat your kale. And also, you can put in your smoothie a little bit of ground up chick se chia seeds and flax seeds because those contain omega-3 fatty acids, just like walnuts do. And those are really important. You know, I could do a whole lesson about that, but that's in another video. All right? Chia seeds have omega-3. Come on, sing this song with me. Chia seeds have omega-3. Grind them up and sing it be. As you see them in your pancakes, your oatmeal, and in your daily smoothie. Black seeds have omega-3, come on sing this song with me. Black seeds have omega-3, grind them up and sing yippee. As you see them in your pancakes, your oatmeal, and in your daily smoothie. Really, I just cook a pancake. Pancake, ooh, let's have a look at this pancake. Is it a vegan pancake? Let's have a look. A pancake. 
That is your pan. Well, I don't know what's on there, Ryan, but if that's butter, that's a huge X. You know, you're not allowed to have any non-vegan foods in your presentation. So I'm going to assume that that is some vegan margarine and that you cut it out in the shape of a square. Okay? So I'm going to get a check mark for that. And I'm going to assume that that what's on there, of course, is not honey because vegans don't eat honey. I'm going to assume that what you have on there is maple syrup. And that, of course, is vegan as long as you, and get the pure type. You know, don't get the kind with all the added sugars and stuff. Make sure it's real maple syrup. And those pancakes look pretty pale. I'm not sure that you used whole wheat flour, which is, of course, healthier for you. But, um, you know, how, um, yeah, I don't know if you know, but, you know, when you pile the pancakes like that, it always looks good. But in reality, what happens is all the crispiness, it ends up going away because they evaporate the and excess water and then they all get soggy. So a better idea is to put your pancakes one beside the other in a plate. That way they, they have that nice crispiness that stays, you know. But that has nothing to do with your presentation. And I'm just going to assume that these are vegan pancakes. They are, right? They are, right? Right, Ryan? Good. Check mark! Which is what I call cashew milk on a... Wait, what? Cashew milk on a plate. Okay, so you're trying to make a joke that those weren't actually the vegan pancakes, but that this is the vegan pancake, just cashew milk on a plate? No, Ryan, come on. Well, it's kind of funny. I mean, but you're making fun of vegans, but you know, vegans eat healthy, delicious foods. Ryan, come on, you gotta show us. Have you shown any actual real vegan product in here? I mean, I wanna see an apple. I wanna see a banana. I want to see, you know, like I said before, I want to see some kale, some spinach, maybe an avocado or an actual pancake that vegans make using flax seeds ground up instead of eggs. Now I want you to Google vegan pancakes. Okay, Ryan, that's your next thing you have to do. Anyways, let's, you know what, still, you know, Ryan, it might not be all that funny, but look, you're doing pretty good. Look at all these. Look, you have, you only have three X's so far. Yeah, so you're doing pretty good. Go veg yourself, go veg yourself, stop hurting animals. Go vegan, go veg yourself, go veg yourself, stop hurting animals. Go vegan. Well, let's keep going. Played. Next is time to protest. I'll do a f protesting. What are you going to be protesting? Facebook live stream so all my meat eating friends can see me. Yes. Good job! You want to do live videos, you want to get on social media, and you want to speak out on behalf of the animals. Check mark to you! Ryan, this is amazing stuff. Good job! Speak my truth. Oh my gosh, look, my aunt's here. She's a goat. Your aunt? Goat. Don't She's a goat? Your aunt's a goat. I don't know. The joke's going right over my head, Ryan. I don't get it. Your aunt's a goat. Okay, goats are, goats are vegan. Um, but, you know, we shouldn't be dressing up goats with human things, like a wig like that. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel like this. I don't know, Ryan. I don't know. Where's eat the animals. I Don't eat the animals. Yes, check mark. Don't eat the animals. Don't eat the animals. Don't eat the animals, never, ever, ever. Good job. I am vegan because the I am vegan. You said the word vegan again. Ryan, check my Ryan, Ryan, I'm starting to like you, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Chicken squawks like a soprano. What? A chicken squawks? Like a soprano. A chicken squawk. Oh, hold on, I think. Yeah, okay, wait, what? Oh, okay, you're, you're getting something mixed. I don't get it, Ryan. I don't know. I don't see. I don't see. It's funny. Oof. Hold on. I think my, my cue cards got mixed up. Lastly, I'll practice my... Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm giving that an X. I don't I just it just didn't didn't do it for me. You know, what about you guys? Did you find that one funny? Write down below, write down what you think of that that whole goat thing cuz I don't know, maybe I missed the joke there, you know. I am 57. I'm going to be 58 though, coming up in September. 
So maybe I'm just too old to get these kind of young people hip jokes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe or maybe it's just not funny. I don't know. Llama exercises. Llama exercises. Oh well, llamas. Llamas are animals. Good job. Let's put the check mark. How many you have there? Three. One, two, three. Llamas. Three checks for Ryan. One, two, three. Llamas. Three checks for Ryan. Yeah. Ah, so far it's nice to be able to relax and not see any dead animals. That's good. This is a real improvement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you seen my mugs yet, Ryan? Have you bought them? You can buy them, you know. You just go in the link below and you can get them. There's four different types and they make a great, great gifts for people. And you know what? Ryan, you should definitely get some of these, at least one of them. You know, I have one like this, I have one with a cow, one with a chicken, and one with a lamb. So if you get these, you can use these in future presentations, right? I mean, look, by now you're making a ton of money, right? So you have money to spare. So you can buy yourself a set of these and you know, it'll help you feel less guilty because you can be giving a subtle message about how you are becoming vegan and people will be happy. And you can also help me to advertise them. Okay? Okay, good boy. Let's keep listening. I believe I'm going to be a tall mammal in my next life. Okay, well, I don't know what that was, but did you guys see my videos where I do muscle minutes? This looks a lot like that. It's like in the middle of your day, you just jump up and you just start doing a muscle minute. Like you just jump around and you just do whatever, any kind of exercise at all, you know, because you wanna move it, move it, move it. You don't wanna sit there all day. You wanna move it, move it, move it. You don't wanna sit there all day. So Ryan, this looks pretty good here. It's very fast, awesome. Jo check mark to Ryan for getting some good exercise. Oh my God, I ran out of space, so I have to go in the little margin here now. This is great. Mammal in my next life. You want to be a mammal in your le next life. Well, Ryan, be careful. Be careful what you wish for. Because if you are a mammal in your next life and you are a baby pig, that means you're going to be brought up on a factory farm without any windows, without any sunshine, peeing and pooping, surrounded by your brothers and sisters without any ability to feel the grass or have any kind of freedom or hope. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that they suffer terribly. Here in Quebec, in Canada, I have uh, some 12 colleagues of mine who went and went into one of these pig farms and took pictures and sat there and it was absolutely abhorrent. They ended up closing this place, but this is, this is everywhere in the world, Ryan. You have to not be afraid to watch the important documentaries like Dominion Movement, like Earthlings, like Sea Spiracy, like Cow Spiracy. And if you want to know how to be a healthy vegan, you can go and watch The Game Changers and see amazing vegan athletes. But Ryan, be careful what you wish for because baby pigs at six months old are murdered in gas chambers like the Nazis murdered the Jews. So you would not want to wish to be born as a mammal in your next life because you don't know what your luck is going to be like. If you're born as a dog and somebody adopts you, you could have a good life, but you never know. You know what I mean? And if you're born as a pig, I, I mean as a cow, and if, if you're born as a mother cow, how would you like to be strapped down and somebody shoves something up your backside? Yeah, some sperm that you didn't agree to have shoved into you. You didn't consent to that. And then when your baby is born nine months later, if he's a boy, he's taken away from you. Ryan, can you try to imagine that? Now, I know you don't have a uterus and I know you don't have a vagina, but try to imagine what that would be like. Just try. And somebody took your baby away. Now you know the strong connection that a mother and a baby have. Imagine that somebody took your baby away and then pinned you down and then stuck something on your breasts and removed your milk without consent and killed your baby, cut his throat off. Would that make you cry? Most people would cry, Ryan. 
and that's why you should never drink milk and that's why you must be vegan and that's why you must help me on this channel to spread this message okay like I said I want you to buy these mugs buy four of them buy the set and I want you to show them in the next video okay Ryan okay you got to help out a little bit more than you've been helping out all right you know this thing they have product placement right you can just like leave them around your house and the next time I watch a video I'll zoom in on them you know or you can just casually hold one but Ryan you know you are one of the people that I hold some hope for Ryan because I don't think you're a bad guy at heart and you're still young enough to change right all right so um, I went over the pigs and I went over the the cows and you know what let's keep watching here Oh my Good morning, goodness, my little it started hummus, over. Hummus. Okay, let's go start my day off. Facebook live stream. Okay, so we all my that. meat eating. And Sarah, she's a goat. Don't Okay, we saw the goat the part. We, we didn't like the goat part that much. Okay, and then here. Lastly, I'll practice my llama exercises. Oh, I like this one. I that was so fast though, Ryan. Come on, I want to see you doing your llama exercises more. <laughs> it's so great to see young people doing exercise. Good job. I believe I'm going to be a top. What was that when you're jumping up and down the couch like that? Like that sounds that looks like fun. You know, I'd like to be over there doing llama exercises with you, hopping all over the place. Looks like fun. What kind of, are do you playing good music while you do that? You know, it really gets you going, don't you find? You have some like really awesome good beats and then you're just like doing exercise and it just doesn't even feel like exercise. It's just like so much fun. I just love music, don't you? I thought so. There's no excuse for animal abuse. Not religion, not an eating disorder, not peer pressure, not your monetary status. Don't eat animals, don't buy their bodies, don't steal their milk, their blood, or their honey. Don't wear their fur or their feathers. It is only by the grace of God that you are not in their skin. Each time you see a public display of meat, dairy, stolen eggs, or fur in an ad, give it the middle finger. Each time you see an animal suffering, run to help as if you were the victim. Each time it's time to eat, ask for and choose the vegan option. Don't be a bully to vegan children or anyone who has compassion for the animals. Heaven awaits those who do their part with a compassionate heart. Every vegan started out like you thinking they could never be vegan. It was a crazy thing to do and yet here they are, 100% vegan, speaking out on behalf of the victims all over the world. Never think that you can't be an ethical animal rights activist because not only can you do it, but it's also your moral duty and your destiny. Be brave, be better, be vegan, be loved, and start now. Call a mammal in my next life. Wait, what are you doing? What do you have in that room, actually? What is that? Some sort of cup. Is there anything vegan there? Do, everyone, do you see anything vegan in the room? Let's look. Sort of a table with some lights. <gasps> is that a leather couch? Ryan, is that a leather couch? Tell me it is made from recycled fabric. Come on. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of frozen in this position. I don't know if I should give you an X because it's leather or I should give you a check mark because it comes from recycled fibers. So I think I'm going to just release myself from this position and I'm just going to pretend I didn't see it because I don't know what to do. Ready? One, two, three. All is well with the world. Good job so far in your presentation, Ryan. Not quite sure what noises they make. Good That's morning, it? my little... Okay, well, that was it. Okay, well, Ryan, let's have a look here. Let's count all the check marks. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got to get into the center here. Seven, eight. Oh, oh, that one doesn't count. These are two X's. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, you guys, you know what? We don't have to count. We can just see that there are only 1, 2, 3, 4 X's, Ryan. Only 4 X's, Ryan. I think this is, you did really well. You know, you did a lot of a good content here. Did you make me, like, actually laugh out loud? No. But, and you know, I did, I was kind of generous with the points there, but you know, good job showing the word vegan a couple of times. That is just excellent. And good job, Ryan, not showing any dead animals. You know, this is what we appreciate here at that vegan teacher's school. All right. So thank you everybody for coming to class. Thank you so much, Ryan. It's good to have you back. Looking forward to your next presentation. And coming up on screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Click on them, have a look around. And if you think there's any good things to be learned from this school, 
subscribe because every time you subscribe it helps me to get the message out to other people to so they know about veganism you know a lot of people are making fun of vegans but at least we have some people who actually care about the animals and i think that ryan deep down i'm really hoping that you do hopefully we turn a new leaf and we can have some more fun together keep doing your stuff make, make sure you mention the word vegan in some future presentations and uh, everybody else like subscribe and like you know nobody likes my videos there's like two likes <laughs> Come on guys, it's not that bad. You know, you are you are getting something out of this. I know that many of you are starting to connect with the animals. Watch the documentaries I mentioned before and give yourself a big hug to everybody who's trying. Okay, you too, Ryan. Come on. You're so, get out of bed, Ryan. <laughs> okay, Ryan, it's nice that you're hugging your ukulele, but you know, sometimes you just got to get up and give yourself a hug for all the times that you tried. Okay, I know you wanna, made a point of putting the word vegan in your presentation and that was really great. Okay, so you deserve a hug for, for, for trying, you know? All right. Bye, everyone. See you next, next class. Bye. Let's hold that vegan teacher on.